Come on. Will somebody shoot at him? Thank you there, partner. Just fucking hit me. Yeah. That kind of was helpful, I suppose. He at least managed to keep, kick me out of the lock by accident. Shit. Dom, where are you aiming? Ha! Tis merely a flesh moon. Ah, however, I'm getting a little low on armor. Get him, get in there. You've got plenty of defense right now. Oh, nice try there, bud. God. Ooh, nice try, Armoro. It's twice now I've managed to keep both of my idiot partners alive. Well, for the most part, as we can see, his mobile suit lost an arm. Alright, so Mash is alive. So let's go back up to Gaia. Fucking dog day. Uh, hmm. The recovery can't be used by the dog day. So, mobility. That would be just aggravating if a mobile armor could actually use recovery from a partner. Maybe in arcade mode. Well, no, 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 boys. You can't be doing that. This is a brand new Dob Day. I just got it out of the shop. Can't be having you kicking it and scratching it with your little white wands there. Stay down there. <clears throat> oh, for crying out loud. Can you please stay down there for a while, Armoro? That's all I want you to do. Wow, sent him flying. Come on, get off there, punk. Motherfucking Armoro, too. Shit. More shield for you, punk. Yeah, I'll fucking bet you managed that. Oh shit. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I will beat you. Now you could fight the gym. Oh hell. Another gym. Oh shit. Kill the gym. Not me. I'm out of armor. Oh. Headshot. I believe he was aiming for the Dob Day, and I just got in the fucking way. Well, when they have that, we have to protect the Dob Day, which is essentially a giant fuck me light. It's kind of interesting. I never noticed that the uh, bottom skirt armor and the feet have sand on them. Okay, we're going to do this for recovery. Then. Speed only came in handy for about mm, 20 seconds. You know, I could think of worse mobile suits to do this mission with. Gun tank for one. Cycle gun to mark two or one for another. Okay. Gone. Drop. You 
fucker. Alright, coming down from below here. Ow. That'll work. And you got knocked down here too, did ya? Alright, Armoro. Oh, god damn it. Friendly fire my ass. Either way, I try this, I'm gonna hit the dog day. Alright, nice. We managed to knock him off the fucking building. Or, uh, the side of the canyon. Thank you, partner. And look who's bad. Kill him already. And the top deck cannot take this type of damage. There we go. Just gotta keep knocking him back. Nothing at all. Just, just nothing at all. Oh man, come on, I just want to knock you off the side. Or kill you, I'll take that too, come on. Let's go now. I am no springboard. Oh, for shit's sake. Back down the side of the map you go. Hell. Even the gym can do quite a bit of damage. I wonder if I use the stun attack. It misses. Alright, never mind. Are you still dancing with him down here? Oh, you did not just land right in front of it. Fine, hit me, that's fine. Had I hit, what is the hitbox for the dot day? Should have a special little indicator. It's a mobile suit, mobile armor, battleship, Gundam. God, oh God. Okay, so far, only two of you idiots have to do the same mission, it looks like. Uh, why not? You know, I don't think I've actually used the GOG yet. Why not? Just such a weird design. Knock him off to the water. There we go. Good, good. And like any on water mobile suit, you have infinite boost. He's still slow as shit, though. Still slow as shit. Neato claw attacks, I suppose. You'd think that would rip through armor and yourself at the same time. And a shitty scatter cannon. All right. As usual, like I said, infinite boost, so you can make use of that.
It's not as versatile as a Zagok. If you're gonna use that scatter cannon, you gotta get damn close. the secondary attack button does. Some sort of dash claw attack. Let's see if I can get a little closer for this. Ow. It's got armor. Oh, it's a headbutt. Of course it's a fucking headbutt. That's never gone horribly wrong for me in the past. Come on, come on. Barely missed. Headbutt! It's actually surprisingly effective. Still not even halfway through this damn enforcement bar. Nicked in the pauldron armor. Gem. Hello. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah, you can just let him punch me there. Now, surprisingly, for a lot of the mobile suits, and kind of with a real war theme, <clears throat> different model lines of the mobile suits themselves appear just on the uh, lines. For instance, Zaku 2 had, God, a multitude of new designs. Zaku 2A, B, C, E, F, even, God, I think there were some letters like FA and bullshit like that. The high mobility types. And one of the things that was introduced with some of those was variations, uh, specifically suited to the environments that they're in, like uh, one that was built for desert combat. And sand gets everywhere in them dar joints, as you see part of episode, or one of the episodes in uh, the eighth MS team, is that you actually have to watch out for that type of thing. But there's underwater types, adaptive combat, uh, we can forget the Zaku 2 tank or the Zaku 2 builder unit. It's not the same, actually. Beat him? Ah! Bullshit. I need one more kill. Oh. Hiya! That's. Why would you lock onto the person furthest away from you, computer? What logical sense would that possibly work? Ah, <laughs> uh, the wow, fucked. That is what that picture as a screenshot would have been. The caption would have read, just fucked. I got compressed into my lower torso. Uh, are we going to be repeating a lot of these old missions here? Seems like I've done this type of route before. So just like the Hum Robbie team, we get to go through the same similar missions for it, but it looks like one of them has a slightly different mission path. Thank God. Breaks up some of the monotony. Alright, two hits. Use your fucking remotable shotgun shotgun machine gun. There we go. Thank you, uh, Boris Ness Nifnifka, whatever your name is. 
that I used to do in fact piloting that sock. What are you doing? Shooting you in the back, Char. It's so simple. Kill the Batman. I'll let them go tangle with him for a minute. Oh, I can never goddamn hit with that. Another one. Anybody else want to get into my pool down here? I've managed to wound him at least. He must be joking. No! Oh! Up! Oh. This is a giant old clusterfuck. I'm gonna go fight the gym. That's safer right there. What are you doing? And of course he's gonna go around the long way. As is his right. Let's try. Oh, you're gonna use that, are you? Make it fucking count, would ya? What are you doing? Not yet. Uh, somebody else over here, eh? This is manageable if we keep the reinforcement units from actually meeting up with armor. Though. God, what a terror would it have been if you actually gotten hold of the prototype unit they had prepared for him. Oh, well, looks like he's got a friend over there. And goodbye. That's just a big old party down here. Where the hell did you go? Oh, where? Did you fall from the ceiling, bud? Ow. You still have your shield, that's impressive. Oh, this is gonna get fun really quick. What are you doing? Time to get out of there. What are you doing? Oh. That works. Didn't kill Armoro, but I suppose it works. Hey, it's the first time I've ever completed this mission type in this section of the level. God, I must be bored. Rick Dom, all right. Yeah, I can't use the GOG, so it's the Rick Dom. I'd rather have the, uh, the guy in for this. It made short work of everything last time. Well, you haven't lost yet. One step at a time, my friend, and we will turn the course of this war right around. Ah, it's Kai this time. Nice shot, Tex. You little bitch, it's gonna be one of those fights, is it? Fine by me. Oh, you prick, you had the high ground that time. A gun tank with its medium range. So that was one of the things that the Xeon actually lacked was a medium range mobile suit. They didn't have any type of tank weapon that was really displayed a lot outside of the uh, Magellan attack tank. But nothing really for space combat or for mobile suit long range. There's the armor of bullshit I know. Shooting behind the back. Ooh. Really close to losing my head here. Alright, one of them is almost dead. Now he's gone. He's Kai is next. Oops. 
gym was getting really annoying. You take shots. Alright, I've had ammo for a minute. Somehow I thought this would be a little more difficult with a Dom, or a Rick Dom, one, or not even a one-star, wow. Okay, destroy slash repel, Emma. Now, can I use the Rick Dom? No, nope, can't use it in, it's technically in space, right? Come on. Whatever. Uh, we'll use recovery. Wish you could pilot the guy in. Follow with the Gan. The Gan, excuse me, as the Kube puts it, the Gan. Armoro, don't you start that bullshit with me. I need to get him out of this box can. There it is. There's the bullshit I know Armor is capable of. See, Makuve, what's got you screwed here, bud, is that I don't have to protect your dumbass. <laughs> Sorry, Makuve, you deserved it. I got a partner. Speaking of which, he's gonna get back up as well. Ha! Surprised it didn't backfire on me. Oh, I don't wanna fight you, I wanna fight Armro. Ammo. Okay, now. Where did you go, you prick? I'm trying to run away? Oh, that was my arm. I needed that. Now, how am I supposed to play the piano? If you're gonna run off, go ahead and run off. Stuck in this fucking canyon so long, it'd be difficult to get you out of it again. I if I can launch, <laughs> launch my partner outside of the zone. Oh, for shit's sake, really? And then there's this asshole. Thank you. Not equipped to deal with this bullshit. Look, somebody sew a bazooka on my arm. Well, now I get to use the gel. Ugh, hmm. Not sure what you... Ah, gel, why not? Recovery. A gel goog black tri-stars custom. But towards the end of the war, Xeon really didn't have a whole hell of a lot of ace pilots left. I mean, they, mo or they lost most of them in the Earth conflict. Rama Rawl, the I've Black Tri Stars. Not to mention, if you take some of the, the side stories that have come out later on, then there's your boss people like uh, <coughs> the, the ace, ace pilot Norris. Lost him. Who, by far, is one of my favorites. So by the end of the war, most of the advanced mobile suits, like the Gelgu or the Gaian, whatever handful they were, 
We're in the hands of rookie pilots. And those veterans that actually did get a hold of some of them quickly found that the control is so difficult to actually change over from a Zaku or, or something along those lines, or even a Dom, they quickly switch back. So then you've got a bunch of units that are mothballed because no fucking pilot wants them. Not even the aces that were left. That's not really Logistically, Zion really fucked up. Honestly, it was only a matter of time because all it would have taken was the Federation's industrial complex to actually come around and start working. I mean, just in terms of industry, the Federation's resources were monumental. Not to mention, once Zion lost Odessa, probably the largest mining operation for them, not minerals, other types of precious resources. So I'd say the turning point probably was Operation Odessa. Even then, the Federation wasn't really quite making use of its mobile suit forces yet. Oh, here's my chance to kill him. And there it goes out the window. See ya! Fucking hell, really? Thank you. You nearly cost me a chance to kill Armro, which means I would have had to kill more of you. But even during Operation Odessa, the Federation didn't even have enough mobile suits to feel to really make a difference. That came about during the space conflict. Battle of Solomon, about Ku, yada yada. Although I suppose you can, one can make the argument that the One Year War was technically just a, a giant battle, a prelude to the actual war, which would have been well, every every major conflict past that point up into uh, Formula F91, yeah. But even then, I think that might have evolved at some point from. Uh, I mean, the Zanskar Empire had to have had some dealings with that herb of Zeon. Amazing how one conflict will change the face of an entire entire planet for centuries. Alright, one more kill. You know that shield's great, it really is. It doesn't help and you can't actually use it. The gym was a rather piss poor variant of the, the Gundam. Cost effective what it was, it was its armor was just a, it was just a light titanium, I think, of some sort. But where some of the, the benefits actually came across from the RX seventy eight was that the shield itself was nearly identical to Gundam's shield, which was a compressed lunar titanium alloy. No, unfortunately, it's not the end of the Black Tri-Stars. I still have two other Black Tri-Star members to finish with their storylines, at least. All right, well, that's it. Let's take a look at what Ortega does. He skips an awful lot here. Oh, no! Kill two Trojan Horse members. Oh, 